Hey, what's up? This is a quick one. This is a quick entry. Now I want to talk about being very particular with your words. That is something that I learned today. And that's something that I thought I learned. And uh, now it, it came back to bite me recently. But it was something I said two years ago. It was something that I did not give full details because I did not want to give full details because I didn't want to didn't want to expose the the gravity yeah the gravity of my error didn't want to show how miserable how horrible I was of a person so because of this. I wasn't, I didn't tell the person that I still hold dear in love the whole truth. And it wasn't until recently I thought that she understood my words. I thought that she, in, in a sense, kind of understood the hints that I was giving off. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to, for it to be real. But I gave enough hints in my deluge, delusional mind. I thought I gave enough hints for her to kind of understand what I did. At least that's what I want to think. I want to, to feel that my conscience was okay. I told her, oh, okay. No. You didn't really tell her. You didn't. I didn't say it. I hinted at it, but I didn't say it. It was until just recently where we were talking about another topic and I realized during the conversation, the course of the conversation, that she never really got what I was trying to say. And to me, that, that was a, a gut punch because I realized I was basically lying to her. I was lying by omission. You know, you know the thing about lying that always snaps back at you when you think you can bend reality, it snaps back at you and snaps back with a force. So right then and there, I told her, hey, remember that time where we talked about it? Yeah, I was referring to this. And it was devastating for a moment. But then that was two years ago. And since, since if you... If you knew me last year, you don't know me now. If you knew me two years ago, you don't recognize me. And the parts you do recognize are the parts that I'm improving and are the parts that maybe maybe you won't see in the near future. Or, may, that, or at least that's what I hope and that's what I pray. So, so next time when I commit a mistake with her, with anyone, I'm not going to hint at it, even if it's, even if it burns my tongue, even if the image they have of me is shattered in a million pieces, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. You have to say it. You must say it. Or else this is going to happen again. And you can't, you can't live your life fearing that the world around you and this crazy scenario perfect world that you built upon lies will stay and stand the test of time because that's not how it works be precise with your words don't lie by omission speak the truth